Wake up, sleepy, wide awake! Tattoo Magazine. We're here with uh, most of Love and Death. <laughs> and we're, yeah, okay, here's Head. He'll be here in a minute, but this is the fill-in. Um, oh, run! He is running. He's late. Between here and Lost, you're reissuing it next week, right? What? Yeah. You don't know about that? Reissuing your album? We are? You don't know? <laughs> no. I'm, I'm wondering why you guys chose to re release it with new what? songs no. instead of saving them for a new album. Just raise your hand. <laughs> we we're not turns. in school. No, uh, cool. because uh, we're doing a tour with Corn and Asking Alexandra, and they both have new albums, so we wanted to push it. Like you wanted to be cool like them and yeah. we want to have a kind of like a new album uh, fit in okay. here's the real reason okay. <laughs> the real reason is the label we signed with kind of merged with another parent company and so they wanted to uh, re-release it in their system so it's all about labels yeah it's all about labels but we're they're like uh write another song and we we're like heck yeah let's do it you know and this is one of my favorite songs because we're doing like an alice and change thing where he sings and i sing too so yeah um, so obviously you just said you're touring with Asking Alexandria and with Corn. I'm wondering, with you playing in both bands, is that difficult? Or? I used to travel in a van with these guys, so we got tour bus, I can do anything. Okay, so it's actually an advantage because you actually have a, a bed to sleep in? Yeah! No, it's, a, it's really hard, and when I hit the bed at night at like 2 a.m., it takes five seconds, I'm out. But so it's 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 not easy. It's really easy when there's uh, it's a lot easier when there's a band in between us. Like goes love and death, and then like an hour and a half of another band set up. And everything. So you're more like opening for the show, and then you'll yeah, go. That's on. that's better. Okay, cool. Um, so let's talk about tattoos. Um, where do you guys all just go in a row? Where do you, who does most of your work? Um, I got uh, funny because two of the guys that ended up on New York Inc. did one guy did my chest. And then another guy, Tommy Montoya, uh, Tim Hendricks did the chest, Tommy Montoya did this arm, Mikey Montoya, his brother, did down here. So I'm like, uh, I'm like a horror, I go to like all these- You places. cheat on your artists. Yeah. Okay. yeah. All right, so what about you, do you have a regular guy? These are mostly uh, Jason Lee and Matt Ward. Yeah, one Where guy. Where are they located? Matt Ward's in Phoenix and Jason Lee is in uh, Springfield, Illinois. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Wait. Oh. Can I, can I? Uh, yeah, and my friend Bill Van Boeing did this, and uh, another girl on LA Inc., the blonde girl, I forget her name, she did this. You and then, name? and then Corey, and then Corey did this uh, from LA Inc., and, uh, and Walter Frank, he works at uh, uh, Chester Bennington's tattoo shop. You are a whore. Yeah. He did a lot of my stuff too. So I want to plug my boys. That's oh. right, that's why we're here. One girl, okay. And you just got some recent work done, right? Yeah, I'm the new guy. Uh, this one. You've been de-virginized. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I guess. First tattoo. <laughs> Seventeen. You were 17. Yeah. Where did you get that? Uh, we were on tour. It was the first show, and right after, I went to a hotel and got it done. <laughs> so, By a friend out there. His name's Rick. A he friend did. in a hotel. Yeah. Yeah, I got both in a hotel actually. <sighs> so you, while you were on the road? Uh, yeah, actually, yeah. Okay. This one I well, got. I guess then your excuse. Yeah, I got this one a couple weeks later after this one, actually, on the same tour. Do you plan on getting any more? I think so, yeah. You gotta be sleeved up. You yeah. got spider gotta... web right on his neck. Right <laughs> All right, well, that'll we'll be good. See. All right, and what about you? Where do you go? I got most of mine in the clink. I did some time in Chino. <laughs> so <Wow>. I did... <laughs> no, uh, Ray Putman does a lot of mine, and uh, uh, Kaylee Worldwide's done a couple. And then, uh, yeah, it's, we did some random no names that I just. Okay, so you're kind of a whore too. You take after him. Bunch of whores. Just that day. Sorry. All right. <laughs> uh, let's see. We can talk about that. Now, you recently got a lot of work done a few years ago, right? Was there like a particular story behind you getting your tattoos? Um. Yeah. Well, uh, when I left corn, I went and 
got covered. Yeah, so, exactly. That's what I'm talking about. Go figure. I don't know. I just, I, I was killing myself with drugs and alcohol so long, so I think I wanted to uh, continue on with a different type of pain. So I chose needles in my skin. Tattoo therapy. It's, it's funny because I left corn, and then I got a corn tattoo. So I got the whole uh, Untouchables album. I got my daughter. Got the good Lord above my daughter and the and the and the kids here. Then I got uh, got some funny scriptures on me where it You're says. You're welcome to undress for us. It's okay. okay. Ready for a six pack? <laughs> oh my God! It oh is. yeah! <laughs> it's really uh, uh, flabby, but yeah, I got that. Uh, Tim Hendricks did that, like I said earlier, and then. I got uh, I got a tattoo right here. It says, he lifted me out of the slimy pit. That's the slimy pit. Oh, okay. Good. And yeah, just some scriptures that meant a lot to me and some corn stuff. That's about it. Do you have any love and death tattoos? No. <laughs> you guys might need to all go do that together. Bonding experience. Or not. Or not. Um, so... You guys were told to write a new song so you could re-release the album. Are you guys going to start writing more new stuff soon for a new album? Probably not, because he's back in corn, so it's about... No, I'm so you guys are just going to quit after this? I'm, I don't know. It's up to him. It's up to you. <laughs> we're just going to probably wrap it up. <laughs> this is it, officially. No, no, we're, Finish uh, off the tour so you can quit. No, I, next album, I want him to sing a lot more, because I really... Oh. Seriously, like I don't like to sing that much anymore. But if I have help, I'll like it more. Because I'm not, you know, everybody knows me as a guitar player now. It's a guitar player acting like a singer or, yeah, I'm doing okay. You know, I'll, I'll pat myself on the back, but like, I would like some help on the next record. So we'll see. So you never aspired to be a frontman. You know, do you enjoy it? I really love vocals and I wanted to do it and I did it. Now I need help. Okay. So it's like be careful what you wish for because when you get it sometimes you're like, you're like oh shit wow yeah. it's like a baby and the baby's born they crap all over you and throw up and stuff and you're like why, why do I no. <laughs> give it back all right um so, so after you guys are done touring with corn sorry what <laughs> um what are you guys doing after that probably go fly at walmart or something. <laughs> I think Next thing we have after that is uh, Shiprocked in January, so oh, yeah. that'll be cool. Oh, and we're, we're, there's going to be a good, a big, a bigger tour coming up after this run with Corn. We can't announce it yet, but uh, you guys stay tuned. So we're going to go on that tour and then hopefully do some stuff, uh, big tours in the spring and into next year. And so we're going to tour this record for uh, through 2014. Okay. So at least another year or so before yeah. you even think about anything new. Yeah, there's a lot of people that don't know about Love and Death, so we're just going to get it out there, you know. Okay. Sounds good. I think uh, that's about it. I'm not. Put the mic on him. You can hear him. Okay, you have you a big him. editing thing to do after this because we're messing you up. I think I'm having a meltdown.